Hello, my name is Keisuke Akito. I created a music streaming web app called Audiosphere. Audiosphere renders Spotify playlists onto a 3D space as an interactive planet-like 3D model. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So when a user accesses the page, we first log into Spotify. And then once the user is authenticated, Audiosphere will make a fetch request to the Spotify API for the user's playlist. And once the playlists come in, it'll iterate through every song and then create this world. And every cluster you see in this world represents a playlist <coughs> that's fresh from the <coughs> Spotify API. And every song making up these clusters represent a song within that playlist. And every song holds a playback URL, audio URL of the song that represents, and a click handler that will position the object to the center of its cluster and play back the audio URL. <laughs> it again, it'll move the object back to its initial position and stop the audio URL. And another way to interact with the object is to use a side nav. And at the top level, the side nav represents the playlist. And the playlist highlighted in gray um, uh, shows the playlist that the camera is currently focused on. And when you click on the playlist, there's a drop down of all the songs. And if you click the songs, the object moves accordingly. And there's two ways to switch the camera's focus to another playlist. And one is to click any object within this world that's not within the current playlist. So if we click on object moves. And another way is to click on the side nav and then use and click on any of these songs. And then we can move and then go to another playlist. And also for just the, the object pulses to the beat of the music. And this is done through the Spotify API, which not only gives back the song information, but the musical qualities of the song. And what I like the most about this option to the view that we get when you click on the all songs row, which if you see right now, it centers all the songs into the middle and creates one big sphere. And just like the playlist, we could click on any of these and play any of the songs. We click on this, and you can even click from the side. And what's really neat is that if we zoom out and click on the all songs to uncollapse the song list, you can see it all dispersing back to its initial positions. And you can play around like this. And for users who don't have many songs on their Spotify playlist, there's the option to load featured playlists on Spotify. And it takes a minute to load, but now these are all the Spotify playlists. And just like our previous view, we could interact it in the same way. <laughs> And we could collapse it and center all the songs and just enjoy the view. Well, that's Audiosphere. Thank you for listening. My name is Casey Akito. Thank you.